Last year, I traveled abroad six times. So although you guys know me as Brandon Balfour on the streets, my nickname is uh, Christopher Columbus. Now, when I go on these trips, you guys know me, I like to be fly wherever I go. However, I only like to bring what I need. So most of the time I'm only doing short one to two week trips. So I'm usually only coming with a carry on and a personal bag. Now, the nice thing about traveling in this way is you don't have to worry about the airline losing your luggage, damaging it, or having to wait around that fucking carousel for like 20 minutes for it to show up. <laughs> so I'm quite the expert when it comes to packing light. So today I'm gonna share with you guys some of the hacks that I have found that have allowed me to pack light, but also bring everything I need as well as review this sexy ass suitcase from our video sponsor today, Sterling Pacific. So starting with our two major items, we have our carry-on suitcase and we have our duffel bag. And starting with the duffel bag, this is the Coach Metropolitan 1941 duffel bag. And I personally like to travel with a duffel bag over a backpack. I find you can just fit a lot more in it, as well as when you get to the fucking TSA checkpoint and the guy's screaming at you like a drill sergeant, like, get your shoes off, take off your fucking belt, get your laptops on the conveyor belt. It's so much easier to just grab stuff out super quickly and you don't have to worry about that dude because you're like the first person getting your stuff out <laughs> and I use this duffel bag as my personal item I put all of my electronics in it and a few clothes but it's mainly for the electronics and I put this underneath the seat in front of me so I can have that close to me at all times now moving on to our second piece of luggage which is this absolutely stunning refined sterling pacific 5052 aluminum 35 liter cabin travel case this thing is incredible a little bit about the company sterling pacific specializes in creating the perfect aluminum luggage with attention to detail tailored to frequent flyers, pilots, and other aluminum travel case enthusiasts. Now taking a quick look at this suitcase, it is the definition of class and sophistication. It feels unlike no other suitcase I've ever touched before. It is unbelievably sturdy and durable. However, it is aluminum, so it is going to get scratched. It is going to get dented. But if you don't have any battle scars, it shows that you've done nothing. If your suitcase looks perfect, it means you don't really travel that much. You also never have to worry about the suitcase becoming unfunctional because they have designed it in a way so that if it were to get dented and stuff, it's not going to affect its function whatsoever. And they've also got a lifetime warranty, so you don't have to worry. Almost every single piece of the suitcase is made from aluminum, the trolley handle, the trolley housing, and even the wheel caps. It's made from 5052 aluminum, like I said, and it is reinforced with A380 aluminum covers, which most companies actually opt for plastic parts here. It also has impact bearing ridges for an added layer of protection to make sure that your stuff stays safe. And something that I absolutely love about this case that you cannot ignore ignore is the handles. Look at it, it is wrapped with beautiful Italian full grain leather. There's no other suitcase on the market that looks this freaking good. And taking a look at the trolley housing, this is also made from aluminum, which to their knowledge is the only suitcase on the market that has that feature. And moving down to the wheel design, it does use a two wheel design, which might be a downside for some people, or it might be a positive depending on what you're using it for. The two wheel design is meant for uneven surfaces. So if you're traveling throughout Europe, you're not gonna have to worry about your suitcase rolling away or just like not being able to maneuver it because it's got four wheels. Obviously, it's not gonna be as great in tight spaces, but that's up to you to decide on what you wanna use it for. Now, opening this bad boy up, your ears are absolutely blessed with the sound of the double TSA locks. Let me do that again for you. Inside, you are met with this beautiful brown interior, and at the top here, you've even got this zipper compartment, which holds a little amenity bag, and in here, it comes with a pen, freaking leather wax, your lifetime warranty card, a microfiber cloth, and your manual. This is luxury, bro. Like, even the unboxing of this thing was a luxurious experience. They've just done such a fantastic job on the design of the suitcase, but overall, the experience of owning this luggage as well. Now that we have the two major packing items out of the way, let's talk about the packing prep. Number one is where the fuck are you going? Are you going to Hawaii or are you coming to Vancouver? Second thing is what are you gonna be doing? Are you going for fancy dinners? Cause if you are, then you're gonna wanna bring some nice trousers, some nice shirts, or are you gonna be spending all day at the beach? Then you might only need some shirts and some nice swim trunks. Or do you plan on going and exploring the outdoors? Then you're gonna need some waterproof gear and some boots or runners. The next step is the packing formula, which I didn't come up with. I actually found it on YouTube and that is called the five, four, three, two, one method. And you do exactly what it sounds like. You count down from five and you go into your closet, you grab as much shit as you can and you throw that into your suitcase within five seconds. I'm joking. <laughs> so what you do is five tops. Now this is gonna depend on where you're going. Again, this might be t-shirts, this might be sweaters. Then you're gonna go with four pairs of pants. This might be shorts, this might be pants. Then you're gonna go with three pieces of footwear. Then you're gonna go with two layering items and then you're gonna go with one of each of your accessories. Okay, maybe maybe a bit more than one because uh, we're all stylish guys here. So we got a few accessories to go on. <laughs> and when it comes to your socks and your underwear, of course, just have one for each day. So you got a fresh pair, unless you're an absolute savage and you might be able
able to make it with just one. You're not a savage, bro. Don't do that. And one other thing I do is I actually plan my outfits before I go. So I just throw them on the floor, create an imaginary man, and then take pictures of the outfits that I build so that when I'm on my vacation, I don't have to use my brain because that's the whole point of a vacation, to relax. Now, moving on to how the hell you're going to get all of this into your personal and your carry-on bag. So what I do is I use packing cubes. These are going to be wonderful. It makes it so much easier to pack things into tight spaces. In terms of actually getting it into this bag, all you're going to do is just roll your clothes up as tight as you can. Put some muscle in there because if you fold it regularly, you're not going to be able to make anything fit. Next thing you're going to need is some dust bags for your shoes. Obviously, you don't want to put your dirty shoes on top of your clothes, so you're going to put it into this dust bag. But before you put it in there, you're going to jam as much underwear and socks as you can into these shoes to get rid of that wasted space, as well as it's going to act as a shoe tree to keep the shoe shape and it's not going to get crushed that way. Next up, you're also going to need a toiletry bag. Now, remember that because you're not bringing checked luggage and you're just bringing carry-ons, you can only have a hundred milliliters or 3.5 ounces of fluid in your bag. So what you can do is you can obviously go on Amazon and just go buy a bunch of travel sized options, or you can do what I do, which is much better because you actually get to use your own items is you get these TSA approved refillable bottles and you can put your body wash, your own shampoo, your own conditioner, your own face wash in these bottles. And then they're TSA approved. So you don't have to worry about them throwing it out. And then that way you can use your own things and you don't have to worry about affecting your hair, your skin or whatever the issue would be. And the final two cases you'll want is a travel cord case for all of your chargers to keep all of that nice and organized. And the second thing you'll want is an accessory case just to put your watches, your necklaces, your rings, your bracelets in there and make sure they're not getting thrown around together and scratched up. Now that you got all of that done, you just take it, throw it into your iconic Sterling Pacific suitcase and your duffel bag. And you're gonna go to the airport looking like an absolute G and you're gonna get through there quickly while dragging this piece of art behind you. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you've dropped a like and if you're interested in Sterling Pacific's 5052 aluminum 35 liter cabin travel case, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. See?